Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So you know, after the hurricane, there's an awful lot of damage on the bromeliads here at the Tangle and everything else. And it's a perfect opportunity to show you in real time what some of these things look like. So last week we did wind damage on bromeliads and what we're going to do this week is we're going to take a look at sun damage. So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun and why don't we take a look at sun damage on bromeliads. So by the way guys, just to let you know, we're up here on the plant deck. This is post hurricane and I was really, really lucky. Everything seemed to be pretty intact when I got here. That was a couple of weeks ago. We've been doing some cleanup, rearranging, but we're back in biz. So today we're going to be taking a look at sun damage on bromeliads now. It happened here because we had a hurricane and it blew down a lot of the mature palms that we have growing here at the Tangle. Well, all of those plants, even though that they could handle sun, have been growing in shade. And it's a problem when sun is introduced within about 24 hours. So come on, why don't we go take a look? All right, what we're looking at here is an Alcantaria. It looks a little bit like an Imperialis, but it's not actually. This is an Alcantaria Merlot. That's a hybrid. Um, and sometimes Merlot does not have the deep wine color. Um, so that's what this is. Okay, so what we're looking at here is fairly extensive damage. Now you're not really going to have to use any great diagnostic skills uh, to uh, tell whether or not you've got sun damage because you'll know. You'll know that the plant either lost its canopy over top of it and it burned or we took it out of a protected place and on our own we put it in more sun. Now this is extreme and this plant had a coconut palm that grew right over top of it and you can tell the leaves are a little stretched in it anyway and this is what happened so that is what's left of the coconut palm it snapped off and we have begun the long slow process of uh, rendering this into smaller pieces and hopefully add biomass to what's left of the tangle now if you take a look at this plant, you can really see that it's sun damaged by taking a look at where all of the damage is. So right here, the sun would be to my back. And you can see the sun was shining on these leaves and they almost all got torched. But then you come down here and the leaves that aren't quite laid in front of the sun you can see still have some green on them. And then take a look at that surface right there and that was pointed right directly at the sun. So the question is, what if anything can we do about this? And actually once the damage is done, it's done. Now if you have a long-lived bromeliad, uh, like this Alcantaria, it will outgrow that damage eventually. These are not speed demons, guys. Yeah, it's probably going to take a little while, but it will be able to do it. Now, in the case of this Alcantaria, I think you can see the damage is so extensive that really there's no trimming this out to make it into a pretty plant. But stick it in a protected spot, take care of it, and, well, not in no time at all, but in some time at all, and it probably uh, will give you a pretty nice looking plant if you are patient. Now the damage on this Tillandsia crucofiana is generally slight and at the ends of the leaves and not all of the leaves have it. Take a look. These are the leaves that were still protected. Hopefully I'm not going to get my big foot in the frame. Um, and this really could be trimmed out. 
we have done a video on how to trim bromeliads so you should go into the archives and take a look at that it really isn't rocket science everybody can do it even me and um, this plant maybe can be repaired it's not going to be perfect but there will be something left now this is an alcantaria that has had wind damage on it and also some sun damage we went into wind damage last week if you didn't get to see it go back in the archives I hope you like it and you can see that sun damage now this particular alcantaria is in a little bit more sheltered spot uh, under what's left of the canopy here at the tangle and so it didn't suffer a whole lot of damage and it can be repaired it's not going to be back to its former self, but it'll grow out of this. So, okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at sun damage on your bromeliads. Again, it can happen to anybody, and you don't have to be in a hurricane zone to have that happen. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing. Have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.